Hello everybody and welcome to this quick start guide for Kit Pack Model Club. My name is Trimbark Free, and today we're going to walk you through how to make your first airplane. Let's get into it. Okay, so you're starting your first plane. First thing you have to do is pick your roof part. Typically, you go with a cockpit. Um, today we're going to go with this cockpit. Okay, you want to make sure you turn on your center of mass, center of thrust, and aero stability. And then if your center of lift isn't showing, go in here and click that button so you can see your center of lift. Now we need to build out our fuselage. So first thing I'm going to do is go here to bearings and I'm just going to pick one of the standard nose pieces. Now that one doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to select this one. Okay. And now we're going to finish out our tail. To do that, I'm going to select an adaptive fuselage, which will adapt to whatever shape you put on it. And I'm going to... Let's see. Let's find it. No, structure. Select the bulkhead. Uh, I'm going to select this bulkhead. I'm going to actually move it back this way a little bit, and then it'll shrink that adaptive fuselage. And then I'm going to right-click this, and I'm going to adjust the shape of it by using these scrolls. I'm going to go like that and kind of want to turn the scale down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to select another adaptive fuselage, put that on there, grab this end cap, use WASDQE to rotate it in the shape that I want. I'm going to adjust the shape by going like this. Change the width, adjust the height, and now I'm going to hit 2 for offset, extend it out, and move it up like that. Okay, you can see my center of mass move back a little bit, that's okay. Next we're going to put on our main wing, and with the wings there's different shapes. Here's a delta wing. Here's a forward swept wing. This is a glider wing, this is a standard swept wing, and then this one is a mod wing. Now I would suggest if this is your first airplane to use either a mod wing or a standard swept wing. The delta wing and the forward sweep wings can be kind of tricky if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to go with the standard swept wing. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to change I'm going to right click it to change everything about it. I'm going to adjust the cord down. I'm going to bump the thickness up. I'm going to add some horizontal taper. Add a lot of vertical taper so it starts thick and gets thinny, skinny. And then I'm going to move the sweep up. Okay. We have our main wing. If you look, it's not quite where I want it. So I'm going to hit two again. Move it in. Okay, scroll back a little bit. I'm going to actually use the center, click the center mouse button to move my camera. Hit one. I'm going to put some tail fins on here, like that. I'm going to adjust their shape. And let's see. Change the suit. And spam, add some taper, okay, and then I'm going to add a tail rudder here. I'm going to use the WASD to rotate it again, make sure symmetry is off so it only places one. Right click it, adjust it, and adjust it. There we go. Okay, now I want to put my control surfaces on, so I'm going to click this one. I'm going to hit X to turn symmetry back on. Hit spacebar to get it to align to the wing surface, and then click. Okay, I'm actually going to adjust the cord so it's a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to show you a trick if you 
are in one and you hold R and click apart, you can duplicate it. So there you can see it's duplicated on both sides. I'm going to click that. And now I just need to adjust the span on this one. And I'm going to skew it a little bit. There we go. All right. Now we need to put some control surfaces on the tail. And this one doesn't want to behave. There we go. Okay, that'll work. Hit two. Move it in. Like that. Grab this. I can adjust the span with these part context buttons. Okay. And now we just need a rudder. And hit X to turn off symmetry. You need to rotate it there. need to just expand so that it's that. Okay. So this one will control my yaw. These will control my roll. And then these can control my pitch. You can see I got my center mass back here. Now we have to decide what kind of propeller, motor, engine do we want. I think what we're going to do is... Let's see... Can we attach? Yeah, see how the part is in, sort of invisible? It doesn't want to just attach to nothing. So I'm going to delete it. We're going to put some motors on, like this. I'm going to hit X so we have symmetry. Go like that. Okay, now I can attach a propeller directly to those motors, but I think I decided, instead of propeller, let's do an exhaust method thing. Let's make this a fast one. So now, I'm gonna actually delete those. I'm gonna grab this motor. I'm gonna make sure symmetry's off, so it's just the one, but I want it centered. And I'm gonna hit two. Move it down. Move it... Oh. Hit V for internal view. Move it back. Like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to grab this. And hit X. If I do this, there. I place this fan, but the fan's not actually connected to the motor yet. And I kind of want to adjust where it is exactly. I'm going to move it back like that. Uh, it's almost perfect. Okay. okay. So now we need to go here. We're in propulsion. Grab a CV joint. And you can see we're attaching the Exhaust ducted fan to the motor. Good. So we have a drive shaft between the motor and the propeller. And then we're going to grab the battery. We're going to attach the battery to the root part. Just do one. And then move it into place. Like this. Can move it down a little bit. Maybe move it forward. Okay. Now I want to add some guns. Go into weapons. Close ones. Put them here. But they actually tend to work the best when they are inside the fuselage. I'm going to do that. Now they need a magazine. Store some bullets. And go. It's good. Move it down. Move it back. So, we have what should work as an airplane. You can see our aerodynamic display is saying that our ideal glide is at 165 miles an hour and the angle of attack would be one degree. If I move my wing, you'll see that that changes 
further back here, it's more stable. If I move it forward, it's less stable. And that orange area is an area of instability, meaning my nose would pitch away from center. Uh, this is a balancing act because the more stable your plane is, the less pitch authority and roll authority you're going to have. But <clears throat> if it's your first plane, you probably want this to be all blue with little or no orange in the middle. Okay. The other thing I'll note is that our center of lift is actually above our center of mass here, which is not ideal. So I think I might try to move my wing down a little bit. Forward just a little bit. So they're, they're, they're sort of matched up right there. And that means our plane should fly pretty well. Now I want to add some wheels so I can take off and land. And for that, we're going to use these landing gear vertical struts. I'm going to use the center mouse button to move the camera again. And I'm going to place them under the wing. I'm going to hit X to make sure I have symmetry enabled. Okay. Go like that. You want to make sure your front wings are in front of your center of mass. Or your front wheels are in front of your center of mass. I'm going to just adjust them a little bit. Hide a little bit more of that, and then you can right click it to see your max turn angle, yaw axis, meaning you'll use your yaw e-binds to control it. And I'm going to turn up the steering turn angle and steering angle so that when I use the yaw, the wheels will turn. I'm going to go back here, and this is going to be a tail dragger, so now I'm going to find Let's see the center wheel and put it down here. Like that. Yeah, it's not perfect. I'm going to move it into place. There we go. Alright. So, we have. Uh, a fan, check. We have a motor, check. We have a battery, check. Our center of mass and center of lift are aligned. You can see our center of thrust is pointed forward, straight through the nose of the plane. We have wheels. We have guns. Oh, you know what we need? We need a person and a gun sight. Let's start with the gun sight. Click it. Hit B. It's mostly centered right there. I'm gonna grab it, move it back a little bit. Okay, and we need to go back here, hit through, grab a seat, and try to line it up in the middle there. It's okay to place it up there, and I'm gonna put major malfunction in this pilot's chair there. I'm gonna hit two. Click the whole chair, get back out of internal mode, and move him. Oh, I clicked off too soon, so now I hit B. Two, select the chair, move him into place, and you can kind of visually adjust him that how you want. Okay. There you go. All right. So now we have a character, so we can fly first-person view. It's important to note you can't put your plane into first-person view unless you have a character. And I think I want to move these wheels a little bit so they're a little more central. And let's try flying. Okay, so here's my plane. It's on the ground. I can grab it with left click or right click it for actions. And you can see you can start engines, you can refuel it, you can reload it, inspect the vehicle, or go back to the workshop, unload the ammo, although I'm not sure why you would want to. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit 
control R and you can see my motor started up. I'm gonna hit shift to throttle up and there we go the plane takes off all by itself. Okay so it's a little bit jerky in the controls. Let's see how my pitch is. Okay. It's some pretty good pitch authority. All right. That's a great basic starter plane. Let's see if we can land this without crashing and then give it a quick paint job. Oh. There we go. Beautiful landing. Good job, Major Malfunction. All right. So I right click to get out of that and I can go over here back to the workshop all right we're gonna paint it quick top color let's go with red our side color is going to be orange and our front color is going to be bright yellow and just to show off to our friends, we're going to go ahead and pick a bottom color, like, let's see, black. Did that turn out black? Oh, no, I picked red. So black. Alright, cool. Goofy looking flame. And now I'm going to add a decal. And let's see, our starter flame. So why don't we go ahead and put a big power button on it just to show that this is the start of our kit hack addiction. I can hit T to change decal clipping modes as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. Now it pops up with this thing. I can click that use it to move it around and I can change the color um, if you hold shift you can rotate it hold control to shrink it or enlarge it and there we go and now we can go ahead and save it as our very first plane you can add a description down here and hit save and you can publish it to the workshop all right folks well that's all i have for now in this quick start video thank you for watching and if you need some more help check out the other videos on my channel i have a tutorial and a beginner's guide in there and if this use video was useful for you please leave a like if you want to see more videos don't forget to subscribe join the discord join the reddit and for now, that's all. Thank you for watching.